But it's the experience and this exuberant youth that she brings to this final. A chance to run on the big stage with some of these ladies that are going to Beijing. And what an opportunity for her. So nervous, she says, Hasse before the race. But once the gun goes off, she's right in the competition. And right now, Hasse in the back of the field. But I bet she'll change that position. There's the ponytail in the back. Now, there is uh, an equation that you must fulfill to get to Beijing. The first would be to finish in the top three here at the trials. And the other is to achieve the Olympic A standard. 407 flat and only four women running today have that Shannon Roberry, Aaron Donahue, Trenere Clement and Kristen Worth Thomas and they have to achieve it today or they cannot go to Beijing and Clement takes the early lead here with the sunglasses on the left of your screen Kristen Worth Thomas, Shannon Roberry, and Aaron Donahue the favorites all up front and Tom I'm going to watch the pace very closely today because a fast place pace plays into the hands of Shannon Roberry and Aaron Donahue. They want this field to go fast because they can handle it. A slower pace will allow other athletes who don't have a chance and don't have the A standard to early on hang in there. Right now in the first 400 meter split, we're looking at 68 seconds and right now that's slow. And so it's not good for some of these ladies who don't have the A standard. They need to pick up the pace. Someone needs to jump on it right now. The 16 year old Jordan Hasse dwarfed by some of the other runners he is a running along second uh, to last at the moment. You know, I asked her for a coach ever asked her to cut that ponytail and she said yes, but she decided to hold on to it. And coach also said if you make it to the Olympic trials, why don't you paint it red, white and blue? The mom didn't like that. Group. that is. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Gallo has now taken over the lead. It's Gallo in front. Second place, Kristen Worth Thomas. And Shannon Roberry in third. At some point, someone's going to have to jump on this pace and pick it up because, once again, if you want to make it to Beijing, you need the A standard. We already mentioned the four ladies that have it Sarah Bowman, Amy Mortimer, and Lindsay Gallo, three ladies who have been close to that mark this year, but they don't have it. They need to be in the top three as well as get the standard to get that trip to Beijing. 215.73 at 800 meters. Lindsay Gallo leads the race. Kristen Worth Thomas is second. Shannon Roberry is third. Amy Mortimer fourth. And Aaron Donahue is fifth. Jordan Hasse continues to trail the pack. Well, this is shaping up to be a kicker's race as you see Trenere Clement second from the last with the glasses on in the back of the pack. That's not where Clement is supposed to be. Her coach JJ Clark, there she is. So said that she needs to be up front toward the, the, the top of this race, and right now she is not in the mix. Shannon Roberry now has the lead. Kristen Worth Thomas into second. Aaron Donahue comes up into third. Here's the final lap about to unfold. And Shannon Roberry starting to sprint clear of the field. Kristen Worth Thomas is second. Aaron Donahue is third. Through the round, Shannon Roberry showed that she'd be the class of the field. And believe it or not, a year ago, she had a stress fracture in her left hip. Her entire season was washed out. And now she stands less than 300 meters away from an Olympic berth. Roberry leads. Worth Thomas second. Donahue third. Sarah Hall is fourth. And now here comes Usini into fourth place. But Shannon Roberry all by herself in the final turn. Donahue closing in on Worth Thomas for the second spot. Home straightaway looms, and Shannon Roberry has the big lead. Kristen Worth Thomas and Aaron Donahue fighting for second and third, and Donahue edges ahead. Here's Roberry in front, Donahue second, and Worth Thomas third. They hit the line. Shannon Roberry wins. Aaron Donahue second. Kristen Worth Thomas is third. All three have the A standard. That's your U.S. Olympic team. And here comes Jordan Hasse just crossing the finish line. She beat two other runners racing against those that are much older. She has a year to go in high school. Meanwhile, Shannon Roberry and Aaron Donahue with an embrace. They'll be leading the U.S. team to Beijing.